Hi guys, welcome to Dhruv Labs. In this video, we're going to see about how to do the email privacy using DuckDuck.com email protection. Okay, first go to DuckDuck.com slash email. You will see the page like this. Then you have to click the R2 Brave button. If you are using Chrome, it will be R2 Chrome or Firefox. It will be different. So I click. So the extension of Chrome has been opened. There you can see R2 Brave button. I am clicking R2 Brave. Okay, then you can click Add Extension. Let's wait for some time to get it downloaded and installed. Now that it has been installed, so you can that will open this page. You can read the information about that email protection. Okay, so now again go to the same page and refreshing it. So that will open a new UI called Email Privacy Simplified. Click Get Started. Welcome to Email Protection. So in this step, we can create a new email ID with at duck. Dot com. So these are the service terms or terms and condition by the DuckDuckGo.com. Okay, we don't save your emails. That means they don't store your emails. That means that all happens in your memory. In the memory, your emails never return to disk. Okay, the remaining terms and condition two, three, four, five, nearly some eight to ten conditions they have given. Okay, another important thing is sixth point. So we don't use any third-party email service to forward your email. So they are not rely on any third-party services. They develop their own software. Okay, if you have any issues or doubt, you can directly send the email to support at duck dot com. Okay, and you can delete the email ID which has been created with duck duck go dot com with single step. Okay, for that the email has that URL has been provided. Go to there. And pass the email ID which has been created with that duck dot com. Then click continue. Okay, fine. Let's go and click next. Okay, now you can give the some email ID what you want to be created. If it's available, you will get. Otherwise, you have to find some other name. I'm giving through labs and where you want to forward the emails. So this is your Gmail or Yahoo or Bing or if you have any custom domain email, you can pass that. Okay. So I'm giving Drulabs at Gmail dot com. Actually, I don't have any email ID with that name, so that's a mistake I did. Because once you give that name, you can't change it again because they will send the one password to that email ID. Without that password, you can't retrieve the email ID back. Okay. So this is correct. So please verify and give the email ID details. Okay. This is correct. Okay, now that is drulabs.duck.com is yours. Okay, anything sent to this email address will be forward to drulabs.gmail.com. So you can create just like that. You can create any email ID you want. This is another temporary email ID if you want to create. Okay. So what it's saying is by default it will if any form is there that will provide that email ID. Drulabs.duck.com. So to protect you. Okay, there is one more email address they are giving, so that is a random Gmail address. If you want to try in any forms or any places which you don't want to pass your actual email address, so that time you can try this. Later you can delete easily. Okay, if you want to change your forwarding address, you can click the new. You can forward. You can put the new address and you can click the change button. Okay, this is support. Okay, so if you want to generate one more time, you can click generate private duck address. That will create a new email ID. Okay, so you can see that. That like that you can create a number of email ID. So if you want, you can just click copy. But you can have only one at a time. That means the extra ID. Okay. So that's it. Okay, you will get the email verification to your uh, but the email ID what you passed. Okay, so how to delete your email? Okay, you can see the fact the frequently asked question for more information about the email privacies. Okay, if you want to click delete my account, that this is what I said. Right? I gave the wrong email address, so I'm not able to delete that account. So if you if you want to delete, you have to give the email ID. That means I gave through labs at gmail dot com. Right? They will send the false. Phrase there, so you have to enter that first place to delete that account. I will show later. Okay, if otherwise it will show like it's a wrong password, wrong first phrase. 
okay fine so after successfully created you will see an email like this so with your email id and where it is getting forward so i am just creating the ptc copy at yahoo.com so that is another dummy email id so for that i got the email okay so you can see the email structure how it is okay then you can see the support details as you it's return okay change forwarding address if you want to change the forwarding address you can give some other email id okay okay that is the fast phase okay i got the fast phase so that's the reason it's came so i can give the new email address okay so that's the link i got so i click the link so that has happened in the back end so i just pause that video at that time recording the time so i can give the new email id and click change okay so that's it so again it will ask for the confirmation is this correct this is correct yes this is correct so that's it your forwarding email address has been changed just think about this scenario okay just you are registering in the website called xy.com so whatever website okay and giving the email address as some uh, email name at duck.com they are just keep on sending spam messages now you don't want to receive that spam messages you have to click and subscribe or if they don't have that option then it will be a problem instead of that now you can delete the email id which is created in the duck.com so you can delete the email id so what that xy.com will do they will send the email id to the at duck.com but the email ID has been deleted, so you will not. So you will. They, so they can't send. You will not receive. In this way, you can protect your email ID from lots of spam messages. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, click the like button, subscribe our channel, and share this video to your friends. Thanks for watching. Do labs.